Hello and welcome to a review of the Kamen Rider Shodo Ride. This is the sort of the candy toy gimmicky mini figure for Kamen Rider CO series. You can either get this as a box set of seven or get them individually. The only difference is, is that you get an extra outer box. So all the boxes inside are the same. And in set one, there are seven of these smaller boxes inside. You see, you have Zio, Gates, and Zio or Gates in the build armor mode. Top of the box there, showing some of the forms again. Side. Yeah, warning information, buckles and stuff on that side, nothing on the bottom really. And on the back it says, hey, you need to get these combinations of boxes to get these riders. Inside these sets here, box one and two combined gives you uh, Zeo, three and four combined gives you Gates. And the five and six are the base bodies of the build armor mode or the just armor mode figure. I'm guessing later sets you need these, need to keep these bodies to, you know, combine them with the newer. Uh, armor packs and the number seven is to build armor it comes with just enough pieces to complete one build but not have actually have two builds so the box art is actually slightly misleading because you only get one set of shoulder pads not two so you can't have gates and co as build at the same time so each box uh, aside from the toy and these little plastic bags you also get a ton of stickers Look at these stickers, there's one like sheet each, and this one for the last one with the build arm, you get a giant sheet. Christ. And you also actually get a new type of candy this time, it's a square, it's actually a piece of chewing gum. Uh, fruity flavored, flavor's gone within 10 seconds, and it's just, yeah, well, at least it's a nice change uh, from the usual fruity flavored uh, powdery candy that you get, but, um, it's still not that great. So inside the box, the most important thing is called a figure. And here we have Zio along with the uh, armor that I've already put on him. So that's two boxes combined together. There's also an extra head on the original crappy figure. This is not a full head, it's kind of half head, just like how, how Bill did it, as well as an extra pair of hands. So they have improved slightly. Back with the build series, they didn't give you any extra hands or hand articulation, but they did release like a special edition of uh, cross C and build, uh, as well as the built up frame when he's doing a, an extra henshining, all the little pipes and stuff as a special set, and that gave them extra hand articulation with, with extra hands. So they kept the improvements here, you got the extra hands, like relaxed hands here, so these hands actually are articulated. But the, uh, the overall transformation gimmick, it's a bit pointless because while you can swap the shoulder pads here and armor, body armor with gates, that armor there, once it's on the body, it's a pain to whip off. Uh, kids aren't gonna do it. And then as an adult, you probably uh, spend ages trying to pull it off if you don't have any tools with you. And as for the base figure, it looks like this. It's got half a head, like I said, and um, it just kind of looks really crappy. There is absolutely no reason why this figure and the accessories you need to create a gate should be sold separately in separate boxes. They could have just doubled the price and just have it as one box. It's, it's entirely fine. So, so in the first box, you got the base figure and pretty much, I mean, yeah, as a kid, you can play with this. It is a quote unquote complete figure, but um, I mean, it just looks safe. So you got this figure as well as a pair of, you know, red hands there. So it's something to play with. And in the second box, you got the shoulder pads. His pretty much, can't really call this just armor because this is his body. Like his body doesn't look like that. It never looks like that. You need this, okay? So you got the front armor there, back armor plugs in. Once these plug in, they're really, really hard. Once again, really hard to uh, take apart. You got this uh, stand there, which is just like previous stands. It's plugged in there for ball peg. You got a tiny peg there and a sticker sheet for it. You got the shoulder pads that are fully painted. That's nice. And you got got that actually have the, the head and uh, his weapon. So just CO same. So the sword would have come with the second pack. And the uh, morning detail on these weapons are great. Morning detail on uh, the overall toy is great. It's just the you know obviously the joints and the circulation are quite obvious. Now you can see here I've already applied the sticker to the stands as well as the helmet and mask because I have no intention of trying to repaint these masks because even if I can paint them. Uh, you got some of the logos there and the compound eye effect are pretty much impossible for me to replicate if I try to do that. Much like previous sets though, of course, the stickers can somewhat be pushed and warped into the shape of the helmet. So if you don't intend on painting these or you can't paint them, what you can see on the box is actually not too bad. But move on, let's see the rest. Um, and of course, uh, the next two boxes are the base 
figures for the uh, armored build mode. So uh, that's a Zio with all the built armor pieces on there. And of course you do get the extra hands. I still have that piece not plugged onto there. For some reason, two of these pieces, uh, the rapid tank uh, shin pads, shoulder, no, knee pads, are um, proper leg pads are not painted and they require stickers. So uh, some bits I intend to paint. And you got these hands. These are identical pieces for Gates or Zio. So Zio uh, is standing there and of course Gates is standing here. Now, just because of color differences, they do have the front arm pieces and there's nothing that attaches to the back of these figures. And uh, yeah, so if you want to have Gates in build mode, just give him the shoulder pads and, uh, and the weapon, I suppose, and the knee upper leg pads there. And there you go, you have Gates in, CEO, um, in build mode. Otherwise, you don't have a complete one. So that's frustrating. And uh, as you see here, the more these helmets again on the helmet are quite nice. So let's just quickly dress up Gates with his uh, oh, <laughs> robe just fell on the floor. Oh, that's I forgot. Uh, with his armor pack. So uh, yeah, you just line this up, plug it in. The back piece can actually come off quite easily, but it's this front piece because this peg is way too long and way too tight. So that was a pain to pull it off just for this video. And I'm actually thinking, like, if I'm gonna paint this, do I need to keep this armor off or make it easier? But then sod it. <laughs> Plugs on there. Get the uh, armor. Now the short pads are. Annoying one because you just need to get the peg right and lined up. And uh, of course, uh, the peg is the same size, whatever figure it is, so you can put uh, the uh, build bottle shoulder pads on it if you want. And there you go, there, there is uh, Gates in his um, complete form, I suppose. There we go, and he's got his uh, bow and arrow. All right, so uh, I'm just going to, since I'm not holding him, his uh, articulation is you got the ball peg on the head, just like the uh, previous. Uh, years, so you can look a little bit down, a little bit up, kind of sideways and full rotation there. Neck, of course, doesn't move at all. Shoulder pads are sort of loose there and flap all over the place. Uh, arm can go up and see the arm is not actually attached to the shoulder pad there, so that's nice to join. Rotation here, uh, upper arm rotation, that's pretty awesome. And uh, you got the single hinge for the elbow, and like I said, the fists on all of these have a swivel peg as well. Upper torso peg. The belt buckle is actually pegged on, so you can do the proper Zio henchining and all that, so that's nice. It's cool. Leg is on just a ball peg, upper swivel, single knee joint, and feet on the ball peg themselves. And uh, if you want to see the, all the plastic saving that they've done, there's a bit of plastic missing there. There are these, uh, hmm. I don't know why, these leg holes there, I'm not really sure what that's for, leg holes there, just to save on plastic. And of course, he's not painted at all. The base figure's not painted at all on the back. These silver straps just doesn't go all the way. He's got some red painting on his armor, and a bit of red there. A tiny bit of silver and black and metallic red on the front. So I'm going to try and avoid messing those up when I uh, repaint some of this figure and then apply the stickers onto it. If you look at CEO here, he of course also has pretty much no paint details also on the back. As for the uh, build armor, yeah, this is going to be. This is is requiring a lot of stickers but it does have some metallic silver there again not painted on the back so that needs completing metallic blue at least the uh, antennas there are painted that thank god those have painted up else it would be really annoying by the way the extra heads that come with the build thing seems just a smooth mass there for him and a smooth mass there for uh, Zio but once again the heads are only half complete so as a bunch of cheap-ish relatively figures at this scale, articulation is great. It's cheaper than say Has Hasbro's like seven point something inch figures. And it's cheaper than GI Joe's and all that. Articulation is great. Now, obviously the plastic looks a little bit tacky, but if you don't know how to paint, using the stickers is still more than good enough for some uh, pretty good looking figures. And like I said, these stickers do stretch just a little bit. That's like the slightly metallic stickers that they've always been using. And you know, if you just get your fingernails, the back of your fingernails or like your thumb and just squeeze on the stickers and squeeze it into the grooves of the mold of the plastic, you can actually get a pretty good um, shape that doesn't, you know, hide and remove all the details from the plastic when the sticker is covering it. So that's pretty awesome. So for the price that they're going for, I do believe the line is improving. There's more articulation here. And um, the price is not going up. 
it, it's great and if you do have any of these sort of candy toy figures gimmick figures from before the Shodo series started they're still roughly the same scale and are definitely compatible and as for the other build line uh build line keeps still keep saying but as for the other CO lines the rider kick scale don't know what scale that is it's like a head shorter than figure arts and the quality is only slightly better than these if you don't care about scale, get these. Don't get the Rider Kick line. It's it's a waste of time, a waste of money. Get these, and I think you'd be much happier. Much like how the uh, Shodo build line was better than the build gimmick figures, I think these are better than the gimmick Zio figures as well. And they're cheaper. So subscribe to Justin comment below, and of course, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now.